Yeah, went into this square last time we had. Uh, it was a manual braking, wasn't it? We're doing. Yeah. Sort of braking. braking down and down. So, just run me through what we're talking about that because you were saying about what to do, how to do, how to do it. So, what do you need to do to get it smoother? Um, so, I need to do it a lot more softly. Yep. So, probably start a bit earlier so it's yep. not so sudden. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Um, do you remember your foot doesn't need to move too much at all? So, when you put it down, it won't work that well now because it's turned off. You only press like a little bit. And then, if you need more braking, how much is a little bit? Not how much like more? Tiny, like millimetre. Yeah, that's it. So, a millimetre or even less, or like half a millimetre. You'd see your foot like that barely even moves. My foot moved a bit, but mm -hmm. that's barely moving at all. Even if I do that, that's like an emergency stopping. So, it doesn't look even like a full on emergency stop. So, there's not much we call play, there's not a lot of play in the brake. Okay. Um, so, you got the braking done, you slowed right down. And then what do you do next before you turn? No, we didn't do turns in detail just yet, but um, what do you need to do before you turn? Um, we need to change into a change into a lower gear. Yep. So which one would it normally be? Um, so two. If yep. I'm turning. So just give that a go now. If you want to see your seat up, if you set the seat yep. up. Um, what is what turn on when you when you set up? Um, when it's all practice, the coming down the gear but without actually moving. Mm -hmm. um, so can you turn on or not? That one, what's stopping you turning on though? Although you could, what's not, as it should be. Um, this, yep, this should be neutral first. That's good. Okay, it doesn't really matter, but if you forget it's in one end, if you clutch up, you go flying, still. Okay. Ready? Let's turn on there. So, when you practice this, just make sure you clutch so it's fully down, even after you've changed the gear, because mm -hmm. otherwise it'll stall. So, just imagine you've got no feet down at all, you're sort of going down the road. Okay, so no foot. That's it. So, just imagine the gas was on, because if you did, it would be revving quite loud. Mm -hmm. And then you start braking about now, so a tiny bit of braking. That's it. Please, maybe you're not moving, it's a bit hard to imagine, but about there's pretty good. And then just a little bit more, a tiny bit down. Now imagine now you're getting towards the corner, so you do clutch down, and then just imagine you've gone to two, but we won't. Mm -hmm. And just lift both pedals really smooth now. About three seconds to come up all the way. So kind of lift and lift and lift. That's it, like that. a little bit more. That's good, that's the kind of speed you want. You should feel kind of too slow in a way. Mm -hmm. So you start off doing it slowly like that, kind of lifting, lifting, lifting. When you get more used to it, Jim, and we're saying you can do it quicker. Yeah, you, there's you a quick and then um, there's like, you do it, you cut, when you're good at it, it's like fast and then slow and then yeah, fast. That's again. good, yeah, so that middle bit. So we're gonna try and develop that today. But that does take hours and hours to develop. You won't just do it straight away. Mm -hmm. But if you do, it's unusual. Um, so, what we're going to do to begin with, we're going to do some exercises to practice that. So on this road, it's a bit like we did last time, mm -hmm. we're going to build up to third, and we tried it on the other road before, didn't we, that longer road, went up and down the hills. Yep. We're going to build up to third, <laughs> then come back down to second, then third, second, third, second. Unless someone's behind us, we can't do that, because then they'll confuse them, and they wouldn't know why we're going up and down, up and down. Um, for the braking as well, we're also going to pick a point like a lamppost and ask you to pull up by the lamppost. So mm -hmm. it'll be like a, not, probably not a bus stop, but if we say a bus stop, you want to pull up so your bonnet is just level with the post of the bus stop. We wouldn't normally do that, of course, you'd be blocking the bus stop. But mm -hmm. uh, we'll pick something else, like a car or you know whatever it might be. Right, so you want to move off when you're ready. Um, okay. The moving off you did before, so moving off gears, whatever is up to you like last time. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to help you with the coming down the gears and the braking. Okay. That's the main thing to begin with, and then we're going to move on. We did clutch control last time, didn't we? Actually? Yeah, we started. Yeah. yeah. We're going to move on to left turns if we can, or a manoeuvre, or clutch control. It depends, because we're not going to really have a set plan. It depends how the braking goes. Okay. It depends to what we do after. Because you got to do them all anyway, so the order doesn't matter. You can do any order you need to. Right? So, we'll move off whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, and just first, second, third, then I'll, I'll start talking. Alright, so... Um we go a bit downhill, so yeah, I remember what we do differently this that's time. It. And this comes off. Before that, what do you do? You can do that, but that's it. That's it doesn't really matter because you're not going to move here. It's normally gear, just in case you do move when the handbrake comes off. Okay. Right, so, okay and right. then we can put this down, and then we can look. Okay. And then we'd indicate. Yeah. Could you go before that car or not? I oh. thought I could. Yeah, so you can, because you're going to turn. Alright. That's good. Um, and now I can slowly fit off the brake. That's it. And then slowly off the clutch. That's good. And just make sure it goes back on that gas. Because remember we had a couple of times, I think, when you press the the brake, one mistake, I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, to avoid that, you just always have your, your fire over the gas. But anyway, so straight ahead for a little bit. And just try to avoid any looking down as well. Remember, we'll also be looking oh, yeah. straight ahead. Okay. So, I think I'm just try not to say too much. So now we can change. 
that. That's good. So just imagine that we're going to turn where the green car is as the road just passed there. Okay. So we won't turn, but imagine we were. So we start braking a little bit. Braking, 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 braking a bit more, 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 a bit more. Clutch down into two. Both put a little slow. That's it, enough you go. Just hold up. So whether you turn left to right, it's the same kind of thing. You can do that a little bit earlier by braking a bit harder, but that was okay. So third again, whenever we go. That's good. So on this road, imagine we're going to turn into the next left, but we're not. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone behind us? Uh, yes. Yep, that's it, so we'll leave that. Okay. Otherwise, I'll confuse them. So we'll still brake a little bit though, just in case the bus comes up or something like that. Okay, down the road. That's good because you haven't had to change gear because you're still within that range of what third can do. So, same route again. This route will change today because I know we said that before, but um, we're just going to go second left up the hill. If the braking stays that good, we'll move on to the next thing, which is the turns. I just want to make sure that stays really good. So, <coughs> we mentioned this briefly before we do middle mirror, left mirror. Left, left yeah. That's good. And then start oh. for the brake. Yeah. That's better. And and now yeah, no, that's good. That's it, softly off. That's really good. Yeah, that's right. Oh no, I That's it, that can I guess. That's good every good years. That's it. But you got it done before it matters, that's good. <coughs> Didn't start to stall or jump, so that's okay. Where well, it is when your clutch comes up, lift both feet together, so as you clutch as your left foot gets to left with your right foot, they both lift off. And then your sort of feet come away and then put them back on I guess. If it gets too warm, whatever, let me know because the weather's quite weird today, so it's kind of warm, maybe. <laughs> it's going to be a bit unpleasant in the car. So, not before the roundabout, we're going to go same way ahead, first exit. Okay. Um, I'll only help if I need to, but apart from that, it's up to you to change the gear and all that stuff. So, I don't think I need to brake as much nope. when I'm doing this. Or, or at all, maybe not. Nope. Which key do you need, though? Um, I need to do that this. Too. That's good. Too yeah, fast. no brake is good, that's fine. When you change it, will be some jumps because that's just the way the car is. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just the way the car works. So it never changes every way that car's always there. It never seems to move anywhere. So, that's good. Now, just imagine the bus comes round the car, the parked car. Mm -hmm. So, let's try a second again. That's good. So, a little or damn, that's okay. Because you're not losing control. So, can we get round all these cars? Yeah. Yep, that's good. Okay, normally you wouldn't look down, but um, that's no, okay. Why is that struggling a little bit? It's not too bad, it's struggling to touch. Um, sure. Just change it up a little bit early, not too bad, but a little bit early. So if we go next left again. Okay. Okay, I'm just in, breaking, 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 breaking. Down to two. That's good, all the pedals up, that's good. That's good. That's good as well, because that bus can be a bit off point, but that was good. That's really a lot better. Yeah, that, that's improved a lot from last time. So we're doing one more loop. If that goes really well, we'll start looking more left turns. So I won't so much to do now. We're going to do the same route, if you remember where we went before. Um, okay. yeah, if you don't, let me know. But I know there's some people. Because you, you, you don't live around here. It's a bit, a bit I think I remember. Yeah. I'll let you know if I get lost. Because <laughs> you might know towards the end of lessons, you do um, in things like independent driving, where you're just giving a set of directions to follow. I'll give you three or four and you just have to follow them and that lasts for about ten minutes. Uh, it's been replaced soon by the start now if you're gonna have to follow the start now instead of doing that. Oh, okay. But that won't be till next April actually so that's, that's that, that good. Be, yeah. <laughs> we might try our lessons just to show people but um it's a lot better than just remembering directions. Yep, so I'll leave it up to you. Anything you're not sure of, let me know. So maybe you break a little bit here. Or no, maybe don't. That's up to you. Sorry. I'll only jump in if there's any danger to anyone, but it looks okay. Last week was really busy, remember around here? We had loads of cars around, but yeah. it's a lot better now. Okay, so I'm gonna go in second now. So I'm doing the mirrors and the signal. So you've already pretty much done left turns, we are going to go over them now in detail, but um, that's really good. So straight ahead for a little bit. That bus left is super long. 
It's a bit better because you left it with lights to get third. It's not much lights, but it, before it was just a little bit early because he was kind of struggling to touch. So, anything going on behind us? Yeah, I've got yep. a car. Okay. So, it doesn't really change what we do, we just need to be aware that they're there, but I could turn off. We might need to signal around the roundabout. Are they going to turn off now? Uh, I think so. That's good, that's great. So, back over to you, just like before. There isn't much wrong with that though, it's good. To get it perfect here will take a long, long time. So what we'll do is we pull up just where we did last week, just after that road, but before the black car. Okay. Just turn it in. Again, this is all up to you how to do this. So the idea there, how could you get rid of that rumble? Um, I was going to put the clutch down earlier. Yep. That's pretty yeah. good because you didn't stall, so you no major problem there. Right, so if you want to turn off just for now. And then tap down over there. We won't have to do this much longer because for now on we don't do because it's quite as many briefings and stuff. But um, now you've already done this really well, so I won't go over loads and loads of detail on this. But we're just going to go over the left turns because today we've already done quite a few so far. Uh, so first of all, what do you know about left turns from before? Is there anything about them specifically when they go over? So mm. you, I know you did them before you met me and we've already done them. Yeah, few. so I just did lefts. Um, all I know is that you look in the mirrors and then you signal and yep. then you turn. That, yeah, so we'll go over the it. order because it's good you know that, but there's a reason why and that this comes in later for me, do like roundabouts and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. it's so, first of all, if you get the road for drawing it like this, so just left turns for now because right turns are a little bit different, not much but a bit. So first of all going into the road, do you know about the five letters you need to follow? You may have done this before or not, but there's, there's five letters you have to follow when you go into a road, which you've already kind of mentioned but you might not know what they are. Is it? Um, I feel like it might be MSPSL Yeah, that's good. So I can't remember if you mentioned that before, but that was really good. So MSPSL, when you're driving you tend to ride from bottom to top, just mm -hmm. the way we do for now. So if you're here, like I said, first thing you do is the mirrors. So if you go left, which mirrors do you do? Um, I'm going left, the middle one yep. and the left one. That's it. What's the point of doing that one? Because a lot of times people say, why bother checking that mirror? Um, <coughs> so here you check that mirror because there's a road coming yep. off. What could be passing outside, especially what could be going down the left side of you before um, you turn? Cyclists? Yep, yeah, that's it. You don't legally don't need that mirror by law, so really you should check it if you've got one and you have got one. You don't actually have to have a mirror fitted at all. So oh, okay. um, you only have to have the right one and one of these other two. That will come in later on when you do manoeuvring, not parking. Um, you don't always have to have that mirror there, but mostly nearly all cars have it. So the mirrors are the next thing you mentioned, the signal. Position you mentioned as well doesn't change much, you just kind of keep as you were and turn in. Um, well, that has to be a bit better. Speed we already did before, mm -hmm. which is where your brake come down to two. And then the last one, CL. Look. That's it. So we've already actually done this, we haven't really mentioned it much, but we have. And we have done it. So all the last three there are manoeuvre. So it's just mirror signal and manoeuvre gets split down into three. So going in is fairly simple, but we didn't really do the ones where you come out, did we? So I remember saying last time we did the ones where you turn in, mm -hmm. but we never we did uh, one yes. or two, but not many we come out. So first of all, how do you know the end of the road? I know it might sound obvious, you, think you can see the end of the road, but how do you know the end of the road is there? Because you can't always see them that well. Um, sometimes there's the dotted lines. Yep, yeah, that's it. So what does that mean exactly when you get two lines like that, and then one over there? What's the name of those lines? I don't know what they're called, so, but I know you're meant to give way. That's it, to give right lines. Main road. That's it. So, what kind of sign would you get as well? <laughs> as well as the lines. You won't get them much around here, but you will get them in some places. A junction sign. Yep. What level of the giveaway? What's that look like? Because it's different to all of the signs. Um, it's a triangle. Yep. It's upside down. That's triangle. it. That's it. So, it points down, it's like saying slow down, pointing down, slow down. And it will say give way inside. Um, if it doesn't say give way inside, what does that mean? If it's like a blank one. You may not see this today, but just so you know. Uh, it normally has 
an instruction underneath it as yeah. well, doesn't oh, it? But what is it? So <laughs> that could sort of give way 100 yards or whatever, how many mm -hmm. yards it is. Um, you might stay with where we're going. There is one you might see, depends, it might be next time now. Um, so blank one means it's coming up soon. That one means, yeah, give way there. So what does give way actually mean? Because this is something where a lot of people go wrong when they're learning. Loads of people get this wrong, but what does a give way, what exactly does that mean that you've got to do? Um, give what? priority. Yeah, so you give way, but what don't you have to do? Because you mentioned briefly before, it's something you don't have to do when you give way. You don't have to stop if there's That's no it. traffic. That's good. So give way means roll up, look, and maybe go. So if you stop dead, why is that not so good if you just stop and then go? Um, it's going to take you longer to put yourself into the right gears and yep. stuff like that. That's it. So that it can be done, and that's what we do to begin with, see if we can practice braking. Because we said about that thing we are going to practice putting a bar lamp post. We'll do that on this instead, because it's better to practice that when you get to the end of the road. So just for now, we're going to pull up at the end and stop. So your tyres are just before, just on the line, depends where the line is. Because all lines are different, some of them are slightly out of position. But usually your tyres just kind of roll onto the lines, and then you're ready to give way. Mm -hmm. But for the moment, we'll stop dead, and then go again. So same applies, mirrors, signal, position. How would your position be done though? Like, where exactly would you want to be if you got to stop? I know it's easy um, to You want to stop, be more left, don't you? That's it. Like that. Yeah, because a big mistake is people often get straight, and if you get straight, you can't see as well sometimes. So if you're like that, you can actually creep a little bit further out and still see, mm -hmm. but you still won't have crossed the line. Um, when it comes to speed as well, um, we haven't done any manoeuvres yet, but when you do a manoeuvre, you learn that when you turn the wheel, that slows you down as well. So the speed's not just your braking, but steering will knock two or three miles an hour off your speed. It isn't much, but if you keep the wheel straight, you might roll out the end of the road. Whereas if you turn, that'll slow you down and give you more time to look what's going on. Okay. When you come to looking, how many times should you look? What's the minimum? Um, you want to look right and left and right. Yeah. So, so normally, three. that's it. So normally they recommend, this can be different depending on which box you read, but normally it's left as to where you're going, right if anyone's coming in, then left again before you move. But I recommend a minimum twice both ways is easier to remember, rather than trying to remember which way look to begin with. So you get there looking sort of left, right, left, right, and then go. But that's mm -hmm. the minimum, you can do more than that. So to begin with, that's about all we need to know, because I'll say you have done this a little bit before. The braking, now you've got to practice on these, so you get the braking spot on. You just roll up to the line, stop. Then again, you're normally not stopping, but just for the moment we're going to stop. When you get used to doing that, we'll move on to the ones where you don't stop. Um, how do you think you do that? Because we did do a little bit of work on this before. But instead of stopping, what do you think you would do to, to creep out? You use your clutch yep. now instead. That's it. So we did it on this hill. Is this, we did it here last time, didn't we, on this hill? Yeah, so we did. That's where you sort of roll up, you creep, you creep, and you go. There is a lot to cover. There's loads and loads to go over on that, because there are ways you can do it good and bad. It can go wrong if you get it wrong. Um, one final thing for now, which you won't get probably today, no, there aren't any around here, but as well as a giveaway, what other line could there be? Oh, what looks like signs or lines could you get? I'm not sure, sorry. So you can get a solid one, which is, I won't rub that away right now, but sometimes you get a solid line at the end of the road like that. What's that mean different to a double line? So there'd be a word written on the floor as well, and then the sign mm. there will be a different shape. Does it mean you have to stop? Yep, so it would say stop, but if I write that on, it gives the answer away. Yeah. So it's just stop there. And what kind of shape would you have? It's a red. It's um, it's it's not a circle, it's like an, is it an octagon? Yeah, that's it. So most people say hex, it's octagon. So the idea is it's distinct, that doesn't look like an octagon. It's distinctive, so if it's snowing or whatever, we said it was snowing earlier today, um, you can still tell what it is by the shape. So it's the only octagon. Like that, that you get on the junction. Okay. Um, the two lines, well, as we're giving away, just so you know about this, the two lines mean come out that way, and the one line means go in that way. So this doesn't always work because sometimes the paint is put there incorrectly, but normally you go into a one and you come out of a two, like that. So if there are two lines all the way across the end, and there is one of these around here, do you remember where that crash was on the way I showed you? Yeah. It's like here, it's still there this morning, there's been a crash on this corner because that car came out too fast. and. Uh, it's all smashed someone coming the other way. Oh, really? So if you do this one, you probably won't start. If you do, when you do, you go in here. Well, that's bad actually, isn't it? That's if you saw you don't break enough or too much. People come out here much too quickly. Um, like the try and tell a corner doing 40, 15, 70, 30 limit. That's what we've got there. So what does that mean when you get two lines all the way across the end? What's that saying? 
Okay. Is this car not meant to turn? That's it, so it's not turned down going. Now normally it would say no entry as well, and we'll go over all this as we get to them later on. But if you're coming up there, you can give right there or give right there, because you can't, shouldn't go in. But the paint is only as good as the person who put it there, and some of them are wrong. So if they put it in the wrong place, there, are, there is one round here where you can actually go in, and it's saying you can't, but you can. If there's only one line across the end, what does that mean? Hmm. So it's similar to what you just said, but a little bit different. Does that mean you're not meant to come out that That's way? That's it. So, not always, but generally, if you're coming to the end of the road <coughs> and there's only one line, it means you've just gone down a one way road the wrong way. So, <laughs> normally, you go into one and you go into there as well. So, one line, one way. Okay, it doesn't always apply, but 90% of the time it does. Um, I'll show you some examples, probably next time will be, depends on whenever we get there, where the, some of them are kind of incorrectly marked. There are roads where you get sort of two at that end saying don't go in, and two at that end saying no, don't go in. But again, there are reasons for that, but we'll go over when we get to them. Well, so, what we're going to do is go round and round the block. Um, it's mainly the ones we come out and want to go over because they're, they're the main things that we didn't do before. Well, so, most of it's up to you. I'll leave the ones we're going into you if you're okay with that, because I think you can do those on your own. Don't yeah. you turn left into a road. But when you come out, I'll demonstrate the first one and then I'll talk through from there. Okay. Right, so over to you. So we're now going to go next left and then next left immediately after that. So it's left okay, left. left. It's around a very short block. And we'll slowly build the block up and up and up so it gets bigger. And then we'll start doing right turns of clutch control. That's the man out today, is to get those things looked up. Maybe not fully done because that takes a long time. But anyway, let's see how much of this you can do on your own. I think that's okay. Clutch up a little bit, that's it, that's good. Because it's a little bit low. So, a little bit low down. I still struggle but, with that, don't I? The, um... but, it's not that you get to see that's very early for two, because you want to push, push, push really loud and then get two. So, we'll work it out in a bit, because that's what's going to come in with the junctions. It's not that three's good, but that's very early for third. Still so, you're going to push, push, push. If you can't hit revving, you've got to rev change, rev change, otherwise, you haven't used each gear. So, two left turns, these are up to you. But if you're not sure of anything, let me know. It's good, which gear should it be? Not know, but which gear? Sorry. Just turn, just turn, just turn. It's got to turn those up. See, so it must be down to two, because otherwise you get that problem. So you must sort of do your mirrors, you know, right down to two. So if we do next left, I'll go over these with you. So we do middle mirror, left mirror. Right. Left signal. Right, that's the second. Right, that's the second. Left mirror, and then nothing at all. So no pedals and just big steering around. That's it. You see that one you must come down to see because you're going in third, you can't, that's what happens, you go flying around. That's probably what caused that crash I mentioned earlier on. Mm -hmm. There's no one around there, that's what we do around here to begin with. But um, it's where you've got to get really used to these before you go near the main roads. So the end of this road I'll demonstrate for you with the braking and stuff like that. But before that, can we get around this car? Yes. Yep. So. If you couldn't there, all you do is stop and then go, which again I'll demonstrate this as we go around. There's so much to cover on this topic, you, you have to talk to it slow, but bit by bit. So end of the road left, so if you did the mirrors, and then left signal. And if you did no but I'll just talk through what I'm doing. So I'm breaking about now, I do my clutch, steering left loads, and I'm just breaking softly. I come to a stop about there. So again, normally I wouldn't need to stop, we just carry on. But mm -hmm. for now we stop, and then what do I need to do? Um, we need to look. Yep, what to do so I don't roll back? Um, handbrake. Yep, so you've got to put your handbrake on there. And then which gear would you need now? Um, first gear. That's it. So if you do your clutch right down, then into, sorry, I'm down there, then into one, and then, like I said, bit of gas, bit of clutch. And just that left thing goes. Okay. That's it. So how do you make sure you don't roll back? <coughs> the handbrake. And yep. Or the clutch. That's it, clutch. So quite a bit of gas, clutch, pretty high. You only see it pulls quite hard, but not so that it moves. So about there, that's pretty good. No, no, it won't roll back, unless your clutch goes down, no, it won't roll back. So, you 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 clutch down a little bit, just as it, because it's a little bit too high. A little bit lower down, a little bit lower still. That's about there. Okay, so we're looking, and then, let's go. So it's really slow, that's good. But with the gear, just make sure you rev loud before you change up, so there's no rush to change up at all. So it clutch quite smoothly up. Loads of revving, and it's good not to change so you can see if you can definitely get around. So even as you pass it, it's still good to be one, doesn't it? Oh, so you to, oh sorry, I literally just... a little bit early. Okay. That's not bad because you did it quite well, it keep left a little, that's good. It 
It doesn't matter exactly when, but you must do two soon. So if you can't see, you just sort of wait and one. Wait until you can so see now? and then do it. Uh, we won't bother now just because we don't need to. If we go next left. Normally you could there, but because they've been so soon, it's okay. So just make no clutch, no gear. This is quite a short move we do to begin with, and it will slowly get a bit bigger boost. That's good. So until you've got loads more control. Yeah. And then <coughs> uh, next road on the left again. That's the first thing you do. Oops, that mirror's in. That's it. A little bit of break. And then no bills, big turns. That's good. You know, as soon as you turn, it slows you down. Yeah. That's what I mean before, so when you steer, it does slow you down quite a bit. So, I'll demonstrate this from what to do if a car came towards you. So, just imagine you've got a car coming down the road now. Mm -hmm. So, is anyone behind us? No. No. So, imagine you come on the bend and there's a car parked there. So, if I brake a bit now, I'll do brake, clutch, one. The car's now gone, brake off and move off because uh, there's a car there. So, I'll stop totally dead. It might turn off that road there. So, I'll stop, handbrake on. Did that car turn off or not? No, it's no. still here, yeah. Anybody else? Uh, no. So I'll check the middle of the right mirror, no one overtaking. No, and then I'll turns around you go. So normally you don't stop dead, but that's what we do to you, we do stop dead. It's actually harder when you stop and then go again, rather than keep rolling. So... I'll change. Yep, yeah, that's good. So end of the road, we'll go left, but we need to stop on this one. So I went to the pedals, but I'll talk you So we do mirrors, See. signal, brake hard, harder, harder, clutch down, steer, and then... Break off roll. Oh. It does it so right back on there. And then hand brake on. And then down to one. Now the brake you have to kind of play with so you go brake, maybe break off roll, right back on. Because that one just stopped a little bit short. Yeah. You can still see because this view is really good, that's why we start around here. But it's got to be breaking a little bit less, you're going to roll and roll and roll. So, bit of gas and clutch. And all you're simply doing is moving off like you normally do. Like this? Yep, just, that's good. Yeah. Yep. No one at home, so that's good. Clutch is slow. That's good. So on this one, just don't rush the gear change at all, so you leave your one quite a long time. So we've got to rev, 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 rev. Just wait until you can see the whole way around the cars before you change them. It might be as you're passing them, so you might be halfway down them. Okay, that yeah, sounds good. horrible. That's it, that's good. So you can change it earlier, but it's just that that is the kind of sound you want normally. It's just because there's cars on the bend, it's quite an awkward one to get around. Let's get third as well. All we do is mirrors, signal, braking, hard braking, down to two. That's good. All oh, pedals come up. And there you go. That's it. A bit faster, I think. Still. That's it. So, next lift. It's the same route round and round and round. Which other mirror do you need as well? Um, the left one. That's it. So, yeah. must be return. That's it. To get around here, I was looking at there's no one around, but this was all middle mirror, left mirror. <laughs> Sometimes you may do that, we've seen, because at the moment I've been watching a lot of other things. But when you get more into it, I can do the mirrors more, more closely. So is anyone behind us now? Yeah, yep. I think they're going to turn off. That's good. So, ready to brake just in case the car stops us from ahead. No, nope, but you thought okay, that's got on. No. But if that car was further, you just brake, clutch, stop. The old clutch, brake, brake, clutch doesn't matter. You just stop dead. And there we go again. So, end of the road, we go left. So, both mirrors, middle and left. Yeah. That's it. Signal. Making quite firm, do more, 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 clutch down, steer, and then stop it. That's good. And then what did you do now? Um, first gear? Oh, before that. Uh, Norm break. That's good, that's it. <laughs> Normally it would be first, because we wouldn't normally do the handbag, but for now we do. So then into first. And then all you're doing is simply moving off like you normally do. Because this is not really anything new, although it's a new topic, it's just the same thing as stopping and then going. So, like, yeah, so it's high, isn't it? That's good. Mm -hmm. Can we go? That's good. So on this one, one of these is going to push quite hard in first, loads of gas now, loads and loads, loads. A bit more, more, more. For a second amount now. That's it. So by doing it earlier, you could do that better. Uh, that's good. Okay. But that's because you revved harder, you got to rev up sooner. So I now get third now. That's much earlier than before, because you're pushing the gas hard, that's better. So, next row will be the other way, round and round and round. So, we're good again. That's it. So, let's see how good it's going to the brake. Oh, that's way too that's, soon, that's isn't right. it? Sorry. So, brake it, brake it, brake it. And then, uh, which gear? That's so good. That's good. That's it. That's good. That cinema's good. I remember last time we said there was a few that would be early last week, so that was good then. So, same again, round again. That's good. 
so most times you do it's the same thing, but you say it does change. It's, sometimes you have to vote, sometimes you don't. There's just one thing missing since I left mirror. If you do know, I just didn't uh, see you do it, so no, it's all middle of the left. <laughs> so just break it in, just in case someone comes around and pop a car. That's you can see it's all further. That's good because that's nice and early. Anyone there? Uh, no, very good. No. If you didn't know that was there, you just always guess there's a car there. So if you can't see, you all see. There's nearly always a car parked here, but it's not there today. So, end of the road left. I won't say too much this time, just give this a go on your own. Just went out left mirror. Right. So, near this one. I'll see if you cross those up. Yeah, out, sorry. So, so, hand that goes on. So, brakes those on. That's it. If you saw it all brakes those on, and we do it all down to the back. So, if you turn it we're back, you undo all the steam, you're done. Mm -hmm. So, let's turn back on now. So, see how much key you need now. That's it. So you can turn on two like that, doesn't matter. As long as you go to one before you try and move, that's fine. Yeah, if at this point, a lot of people do this, but if you try and turn right now, you've undone all the work you've done. Mm -hmm. So you get there, stop, don't turn. Your hands stay still. Because um, you noticed before, the signal came off early on. That's if you turn yeah. the wheel right, you think you've straightened up. So, bit of gas, bit of clutch. And then, whenever you can go, that's up to you. I think this is good. Oh, too That's high. good, that's it. That's good. Yes. So the signal won't come off to the bow. No, so that's good. Yeah, that's it. Hard and that's good. Change early. That's it. Is anyone behind us? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay, the busier the roads get, the more we'll mention that. But whenever you join your road, you always check what's going on behind. Okay, third is much too early. You got to push, 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 push. You have to get the roads high, then change up. If you can't hear the engine revving, don't change. Okay. That's when it's not quite ready. It still works, but it's not quite ready. So left again, two mirrors. That's good. That's good, that's it. Yep, that's a lot better. So, same way just for now, we're all changing it quite soon, but uh, same way for now. Yep, which of the mirrors are? Uh, the left one. Yeah, breaking, um, breaking, 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 that's good. That's it, big turn. That's good. I know around here you won't get any bikes at all, we haven't seen one yet, but you only have to hit one, that's enough. You can drive for like 10 years and never see a bike ever in the left mirror, but then the one time you don't see them is when you're smuggling. That's good. Maybe. So, ready with the clutch if someone's there, but is someone there or not? No. 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 That's good. Okay. I won't always answer straight about by the way, because I can't tell how far, because I'm on the side of the wrong side of the car. But, so, this one's the same again. Just remember that clutch, the clutch must go down. Yeah. So, let's give that a go. So, I'm left mirror clutch. That's good. But when you do the clutch, that's up to you. So, three, here. Turn. Yes. Um, it's a handbrake. Yeah. And then okay. what else? And um, first gear. That's it. That's good as well. Don't turn. That's good. Because that's good because you haven't turned. <laughs> if you turn, <laughs> you're in the okay. okay, so. Um, now I can't really see that well. Let's see. I can read it myself. That's good. Okay, I think, yes. That's good. So listen to the noise engine, mate. You're kind of revving, revving, rev. It rev. sounds like a bow. Now we change. Now bear in mind it's just because you're on a hill, so you wouldn't change the third to the least. When do you reckon? Now? That sounds better. I know there isn't a lot of difference there, but it does sound, it's hard because the roads are bumpy, you can't really tell, but that does sound a lot better. So, same way again, which moves. That's good, that's it. Turn, 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 turn back a little bit. Sorry, Tip, I moved it into fourth by an accident. That was good, that was two, she's got to do a little bit early, because you're leaving so late, you haven't got time to get done. So, next left. So, I know it's already done, I see one, that's fine. But if it wasn't, you must be second, way back. Why is it unhappy? Am I, what's... I just didn't want that, so oh, I've waited too long for you to come out of it. So, I don't know. That's it. Now, if you're going to turn left here, we're not, but if you were, you must have the gear done clutch up by now. So it's that far back okay. when you turn around. It's all did before when we ran the left turns, you know, early on. It's all getting done quite early on. That's good. But you can't do all this to one go, you have to practice it over and over. You can't, if you did it all the first time, you wouldn't be learning anything. So, end of the road left again. Okay, so. No gears down here. Oh, so yeah, just okay. clutch down, steer, clutch down. That's it, clutch down, that's it. And then now you know how to make a one. Because you don't need a gear to you're actually going to go. 
That's good. Right, so we can we go? What do you think his position is well before we move? What do you think it is? It's not very good. I should be more like That's that. That's it. So next time you score, he's off the back a little bit involved and then back a bit harder. If you come off your pros, actually, I'll show you that. Mm-hmm. So it's when you get to about here, you just do break off, roll, 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 roll. So how are you again. doing that? Just... That was me doing no. the push, but when, when you're already moving, you just be break off. It's because you're sort of breaking a little bit hard. So you do break off, roll, roll, back, back on. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you've got to kind of play with the break. Um, I can't say because by the time I've said it, it's too late. If I say break off, then you do it, then it's break on, you do it, it's too late. So it's much harder to talk through. But mm-hmm. right, let's get back to one. I can um, put back to neutral there. And it's good just watch the crush doesn't get too high because that's good there. Because before you mentioned a couple of times, you come a little bit high. But when do you reckon? Um, oh, these are turning something. That's good. Okay. That's it. We'll go down more later on as well about how to tell the definitely turn in. Because this morning someone nearly killed me doing that. There's, yeah. No, I'll go over that later on. That's good. So let me know when you reckon third will be good. Now. Yep, that's good. So next left, you want to do second just before where the turn is. So your clutch will be up about three or four metres back from the corner. So breaking, breaking, breaking. Breaking, breaking, breaking. breaking. That's mm-hmm. second around now, yeah. breaking more and more, both off together. Oh, that's sorry. It. That's it, done. that's it, mind you. So it's done much much earlier. Was that a better spacing? That's though, it, that's or? it. So Sam again, but we'll change it for next time. So breaking more and more and more and break off. That's it. So the idea is all the break is done before the corner. So you mustn't, we shouldn't ever be breaking on the bend. This is different because you've got to break for the block garbage. If you're breaking on a corner, it means you've gone too fast into the corner. So if ever, imagine if you were going that way, if you turn then break too late, because you should have done the braking before the bend. So this is a huge top, it takes ages to cover. Can we get through? Yes. That's good. So on this one, you just got to play with the brakes, so the brake might go on, then off a millimetre, then on, then off, then on. You just got to play with it so you feel the car rolling to a stop at the end. But let's give that a go. So I won't so much, just watch it then sit up before that road. So let's just see how good you can get it. That's better because you roll, <laughs> then break in. That's good, that's fine. And then don't turn. That's good. And then what then? Yeah, handbrake. Yep. Yeah. See, the way we do it is actually hard this way. That's why we quite soon move on to the item. So that clutch is too much. So that clutch is much too high. Just turn back on there. So that clutch going right up beyond the point. So just bit of gas, bit of clutch. That's it, but no more than that because that's right on the top of how high it can be. Okay, so can we go? Yes. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's it. So to follow the road ahead now, go to a different area where we can try that, but we'll do more. Um, there's a better route we can do when you get to try more. So straight on for about a mile. That's good. So we're not going to go left. Imagine if you knock the steel and bomb aside now. How would someone there know that we're not going to turn? But how would that van know we're not turning even though we'd be sitting? I don't know. So like our speed would say we're not turning. Because that, that car that came past before, what's that about someone nearly killed me this morning? Someone came past the road signaling that they didn't turn. So you must look out the signal plus the fact they're slowing down. Just someone signaling isn't enough to pull out one. Mm-hmm. So if someone here sees us just signaling, they shouldn't go just because we're signaling. Get all these things we build up as you go around and around and around. So for now straight on, it's not very straight but you know, bendy road. So what is he looking for to be able to get to fourth? Um F we want. So brakes, so brake clutch down to and then keep wire back. Down into one. And then we just check in, that's in third. check in the mirrors. And then right still goes on because we stopped. That's it. And then can we go still? Uh, yeah. Yes, so, big so. gas per clutch, oh, there's a car behind there. Let's go back for that car. Okay, this is why you don't normally stop, because it's much more difficult when you stop. But can we go now? Yeah. Yep, so creeping away, not a big chance. That's why we're going to now is go on to the bits where you don't stop, because it's much more difficult when you stop and go, stop and go. So, when you start beginning the clutch control, so your driving becomes much more fluid. So what I was about to say before is, when could you get to fourth on this road? Um, when you can see yeah. quite far ahead. That's it, that's good. 
but not until then. So, that's good. The answer to those is no gas at all, nothing at all. They're all do four to the no? That's good. So this car you go to call one, two, three, four, because this car you don't need third much at all. Third and fourth are almost standing in this one. But in the moment you're gonna have a bend. What else is happening to the road apart from the bend? And um, there's another car joining, or well, there's yeah. a road joining. That's it. What else is also happening now? Uh what was he gonna struggle? The car behind me. Yeah. That's good. What was he gonna struggle with? Oh, other cars gonna struggle okay. because I'm in the middle. That's, that's good, that's it. So fourth is good for cruising, but as soon as you get to the hill, third is better. Because third has more power than fourth. So we're not in a rush to get fourth, whenever you get to a flat part of the road, then we're looking to get back to fourth. You can get at least any fourth, but it'll struggle. It'll be sort of struggling and jumping a bit. So third is better. This is where we came last time and we came down here several times. Okay, so would here be a good time for fourth or? Normally, but Oh, because there's a hill again. That's it, it's going down so hill. Yeah. So the third time you go, the third will hold you back as you go down the hill. So you better turn the second road on the left, it's the one at the bottom of the hill. Okay. So, anything behind us? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So the time of the signal is important on this one, we're going to actually pass this road. So you start breaking about it now. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Now we signal. Breaking more, more, more. Then which gear? That's good. Then yeah, nothing good at all. That's good. There you go. That's better. So that's turned nice and early. Now, if you try on this road, if you have no pedals at all, mm -hmm. see what happens to your car. You just kind of hold just back. Roll. That's it. Now, if you hold your crutch down all the way, just see what happens. Oh, speed up. That's it. My crutch comes up again. That's what I was saying before, but I didn't get to show last time because we had a bit of kept to have to go the other way because we had that van right behind us. So we're braking a little bit now. Braking, braking. Brake off all. Where do you go? Yep, that's good. I don't have time to say mirrors, but you always set the mirrors before you slow down. But if I say mirror, mirror, too late, you've already crashed. Okay. So it's always mirrors before you do anything. But that's got to be kind of being built in. So whenever you brake or whatever, you do the mirrors first. So when they pull up on the left, so it's safe. Um, just past those cars would be good. Mm -hmm. So I want to have a little bit of room. Or just past this corner, might be okay. That's oh, so good. That's good. Just way back from the car. Way, way back. Stop, stop, stop. Way, way back. That's it. That's what you need. That's it. That crutch. You must get a crutch down because otherwise you're going to stop. Mm -hmm. So whenever you pull over, crutch straight down, straight away. Um, if you break with a crutch up, what benefit does that give you? Or was it better to break with a crutch up? You do that if you're going fast. Yep, but we're not going fast. So you get a crutch right down, break. So clutch first? Yep, so it's clutch oh, down, break. Okay. So otherwise you're going to stall because your braking's got so much power on the brake in the stall. So you get your mirrors, clutch down, signal, pull over. Easy. Okay. Otherwise, when you brake back, bang, it cuts out straight away. Because you simply don't need that power. Unless you're going fast or high speed, you do brake, 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 brake. You know, when you come down that hill just, mm -hmm. that's where you did the brake first. So you'd be braking, 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 braking. Otherwise, if your clutch goes down, what happened when your clutch went down? You speed up. Yep, so you don't want to go speed up, speed up, brake, brake, you'd be fighting against the speed. So down the hill, you do brake, 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 brake. But on this road, being slightly uphill, you just clutch down, doesn't matter. Roll, stop. That's fine. Ready? Let's turn back on. Does it, when you put the clutch down, does it need to be smoothly down? No, nope, right down, straight down, quick. Right okay. right down. Going down like that, down, straight down, doesn't matter. Because it's only when it comes up, it does something. Go down, straight down. Ready? Let's oh, turn back on. Okay. Right, so, I was going to demonstrate now about the clutch control, because this is an ideal weather for this, but we'll give it a go. Um, it's just the weather. How does the weather make it hard? Did you think of the junctions? Um, it's it's going to be a bit harder to break and stuff. Not much for what else. It can be, but and the speed we're doing, not much. But looking at the side, that's it. That's good. good. So, in many ways, it's actually better it's running because this will show you why you need clutch control. So, if you didn't know, put us off for now. Mm -hmm. I'll go down to one. So, I do, do you remember we did this before? Do you gas and clutch mm -hmm. and you hold it still? So, what benefit does this give you at a junction? Now what can I do now? Um, so you can do it for a short time and then you don't have to put the handbrake on and stop and then you can just That's go simple. again. Yeah, so I'm creep. Quickly. And stop. Like that. So I creep, creep, creep. Yeah, I'm going just like that. So I don't want to stop dead, handbrake on, then break off and gas clutch and stop the handbrake on, break off. It's really cool, clumsy. So at the end of the road, we're going to do from now on, he's not going to stop dead. We are going to stop, but you don't stop dead using the handbrake. This is uh, quite hard to explain, it takes hours and hours to, to understand all this, I don't know about this, but it's just starting to introduce this. You imagine that car ahead, imagine this lamppost is the end of the road. Um, I can't show that well here because I haven't got much room, but I'll, I'll show you as best I can. So, I'm creeping forwards, just turn right a little bit. 
So imagine you didn't do any summer around here. At the end of the road, I do clutch down, brake, brake off, roll, roll, balance it. So the idea is you roll the car to a stop, you roll yourself to a stop, then you balance it out. So I'll show you another one. I do clutch down, roll, wait, 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 gas cut hold. So you don't stop with the brake. If you stop with the brake, it's not good because then you stop. Then when I come off, I'm going to roll back. Too late, you've hit someone. If you don't come off the brake, you've been in a clutch up your stall, you hit and all that bangs all over the place. So if you stop there with the brake, you've got a handbrake on, brake off, gas, clutch, it's really slow and awkward. So if you imagine this car in front of you now, imagine there's a little bus coming towards us, yep. you wouldn't stop dead and then go. Because when you did that before, what happened last time we did that? Last time um, you stopped. It's quite difficult to go again. Yeah, and that car went round just thinking we were parked to the wall. So if you roll, you're showing everyone you're not stopping. So you roll, you go roll, clutch down, roll, roll, let the car go, gas, clutch, go. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't go, you balance it, gas, clutch, hold, wait, hold it like that, wait, and then go. It's much, much quicker to do this. And loads of times people say you shouldn't do this, but if you watch everyone drive, that's what everyone does. So that's, that's what you do. Um, a lot of people don't teach us at all, but if you don't teach it, it, it doesn't work later on. Like roundabouts, you can't do without this system, because it's just impossible without this. So, if you want to move off and go around these cars, I'll demonstrate that at the end of the road. But the main thing to understand, let's grab this board. Is, when you get towards the end of the road, you shouldn't be braking, you shouldn't be stopping the brake. If you imagine that car's at the end of the road, where the, the back tyres are, your brake should be off here. So you roll, roll, roll the last few metres, then you hold it still, and then you creep and go. So if you're stopping with the brake, it's not good. You should be roll, 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 your feet on the gas and the clutch, ready to go, and then you go, and off you go. If you can't go, you just clutch down and hold it still. So you've got both options open. If you stop with the brake, you really can only stop. It's only one way you can only stop, that's it. But this will make more sense when you do it, because this takes a lot of explaining. So if you want to carry on whenever it's safe. Okay. Um, the back wipe, by the way, you should pull the right stick towards you once. Sorry? If you pull the right stick towards you once. The right hand stick, by the wheel. What, with this? That's no, so you just pull it towards you once, not my down, just back, back up one. So you pull it up, back up, that's it, and then towards you. So pull it towards you like that. This, oh, and this way? It. That's oh, it. okay. That's just the back one. <laughs> right. Okay, so whenever it's safe, we'll carry on. Um, so, at the end of the road, I'll demonstrate, but the main thing to notice is how much time I've got spare. I've got loads and loads of spare time to wait, then wait, then wait. Um, Another big point which I might as well go, there's loads to explain on this, and it's just so many, many times to get it's good. Um, you do mirror to signal, next thing is what? The position. Yeah, so you've got a position by roll, roll, steer, then you get the gear. You'll see what I mean when you do it. You've got to steer, then get one, then balance. Don't get one here. If you get one here, you'll lose control of the wheel. But this will all make sense when I'll show you. Well, so that's going to give that go. So you steer, then gear, then balance. Okay. Right, so if I move off, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this time it takes at least 20 to 30 hours to must. Save that here. Um, so I just wait for this car. That's the tune, whatever you If you're not going to go there, don't signal. Because if you signal, you sound I'm going down. Mm -hmm. So that the car rolls up, okay. and then it goes. This method you do all the time, it isn't just um, at the end of the road. In fact, I'll show you one on that park car, that'll be good. So just imagine the bus is coming towards us now. Mm -hmm. So is anyone behind us? No. No, so you do no problem. No gas from when you pass this lamppost. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of gas till now, then nothing. So I do if I brake, clutch, steer is already done. So I'll wait, then I get the gear, brake off roll, wait, wait, okay. wait. Then I balance, then I go, like that. <coughs> so the idea is, that's what we do at the end of the road, you roll, roll, wait, and then you go. Instead of just stopping, then it go. So, I want to show you again on this car, but I've this behind this car close. So at the end of the road, I'll go left, and I'll demonstrate what I'm showing you there, about the creeping. So, we do mirrors to begin, then about that, and then the signal. And we keep going for now, and then we do no gas at all. So I'll do my braking a bit, but not much at all. Steering away from the car. My clutch is down. No, so we steer left a lot. So we steer, then into one. Then a roll. Gas clutch hold is still. Looking left and right. Keep well away from the car, well away. Left and go. 
that's good. And then loads of gas and off you go. So I didn't start the car dead at any point, I just crept and crept and crept and then I went. So loads of power. Let make sure you rev really low before we change. That's good. Why is it important there that we rev low? What's going on? Um, What's going on behind? The, the car behind yep, no, us. So that van was revving and revving trying to go, whereas at the end of the road. So that's where you must rev to, rev three, go. If you don't, you just struggle and you'll be stalled over the hill. Okay, this is because you're on big hills. If you weren't on hills, you wouldn't be able to do all this stuff. So, <coughs> it's the same route, so I'll demonstrate that again and I'll do it over and over again. So, not too much gas at all. We're going to take the second left. Is that van still behind us? Uh, it's to go and turn off the road. That's good. So, make sure you pass this road before you see Yeah. That's it. Okay, so. That's good. That's good, that's great. That's nice. So that's nice and prepared. So this one, for example, is anyone behind us now? Uh, no. Oh, so you would not put a crust down this road. If you did, you go flying down as you're braking. So this one, if you're trying to brake it, just imagine you're braking right. So we brake, 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 brake. Still no clutch, still no clutch, still no clutch. Brake off, go. That's good. So if you're putting over there, you wouldn't do the clutch till very late because the hill's putting it out on there. Braking, braking, braking. Sorry, was I meant no, to? Right, you go. It's <laughs> great in case you can't go. So anytime okay. you see a car, I know the weather's really bad. We might have to finish this one short again because the weather's so bad. It's too really awful. So, quite a bit of gas. Not so wide. That curve, that's good. And then, that's good. So at the end of the road, I'll demonstrate better now because we've got more momentum. I can show you it's better. That width is good as well. It's good. The weather itself doesn't matter, it's just in terms of filming and the audio, you can't hear a thing when it's raining, so uh, the microphone gets all of them, but you can't hear anything. So anyway, end of the road, we go left. So keep going for that. The main thing is you must have momentum to do this. So if you start slowing down too soon, you won't get there. But it's better not to get there than shoot out here. So mirrors, signal, no gas at all. So I'll do my braking about now, do my clutch now, steering the right, as it, and then we steer in big. Then I do my gear into one, brake off roll, wait, wait, hold it still. Now imagine I can't see, I can't really imagine I couldn't, so I'll creep, push up, down, up, down, can I go? Yep, off I go. Rather than stop, now I'm going to stop, handbrake on, brake off, gas, clutch, handbrake, it's really clumsy doing that. Mm -hmm. So, when can we go? Uh, no, not now. That's good. So I'll show you how fast things going to be. Or now, no. Kind of no. Well, I don't want to go. Uh, uh, bike, is he going to turn or not? No. After the bike. That's good. That's it. Okay, there is a lot to explain now. That's just a basic idea. There are things you can do better or worse than that, but that's good. So, like before, what do you need to do on this road? Um, lots of power. That's it. That's good. That's good. That there's good, that's the absolute minimum you'd want. So you want rev, rev. It must be really loud or screaming loud, otherwise you won't get it. That's good. Okay, that is in this particular car, not every car you just have to hear because it's on diesel. You should be screaming loud for each other. Otherwise, on that hill, you wouldn't get up. I just want to hit the window on there because it's a bit, a bit hard to see. Okay, so second road on the left. So I won't stand much on this if you're okay with that. Watch our speeds, I get too high. So it's up to you, just like you Yeah, you're not doing the clutch up again. That clutch must come up otherwise you're flying around the corner. So when your clutch is down like now, you've got no control, you must have your clutch up. Because mm -hmm. you're doing the gear change well, but your clutch is sticking to the floor. Got me down, change up, done. Think of it like when you change up, you would never go clutch down three, clutch down, 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 down. You've got to get up straight away. So when you change the gear, so I'm breaking a little bit down. That's it. Let's go around wider, by the way. This one's where you've got to get much wider, because that's very close to the car. Okay, this is not ideal with the conditions and the weather now, but it's just when you kind of bend, you must do clutch down to your clutch up, you must come up straight away. If you can't get a clutch back up straight away, it means you shouldn't be in that gear. So, if I demonstrate one day, I do brake, 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 clutch down to your clutch up, like that, because otherwise you're not, not in the gear. So, we're going towards the end of the road, I'm just going to get to try and creep. I 
I did that a little bit earlier, but this is where you got to practice, so handbag goes on. If you don't do it quick enough, you won't have time to get it done. So a bit of gas, a bit of clutch, and then push down a bit, like handbag off, and can we carry on? Yep, that's good. There's loads of gas, rev, 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 really loud. Just push, build really hard, build, 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 build. That's it. Yeah, we'll have to finish this one here, because you just can't hear what's going on. So I know it's a pain this, but... You won't be able to hear anything on this video anyway. So let's get down to third. But it's hard, it's hard, the mod face. You just go bam, 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 you can't even hear yeah. what they're saying. So we'll take the third left and then we'll pull up and we'll go back. Uh, that's good. Yeah, 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 that